All right, so I just want to talk about how or why it makes sense that George Clooney ended up, or Ezra Miller, The Flash, okay, Barry Allen's The Flash, ended up in the Schumacher universe with George Clooney returning as Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman. Okay, so this all goes back to Batman and Robin. So l let me explain why it makes sense that George Clooney's Batman as opposed to uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman or uh, Christian Bale's version of Batman shows up at the end of, or why it makes sense that the Flash ended up in uh, Schumacher's universe. If it, it all goes back to the beginning of Batman and Robin. In the beginning of Batman and Robin, uh, Bruce Wayne tells Dick Grayson, this is why Superman works alone. Now, that line is very important at the beginning of Batman and Robin because this implies that Superman exists in the Schumacher universe. So, uh, if if Superman exists in in uh, the Schumacher universe with, you know, with uh, George Clooney's in George Clooney's world as Batman, then it makes sense that the Schumacher universe is part of the bigger DC DCEU multiverse. So it would make sense that George Clooney's Batman or George Clooney's version of Batman is part of the DCEU multiverse. It's part of the uh, multiverse of the DCEU of, you know, the Adam West Batman, of the Nick Cage Batman, uh, or I'm sorry, the Nick Cage Superman. It's part of the uh, world of the or the multiverse, the multiverse of Christopher Reeve's Superman. It's, uh, you know, so it makes sense that his version, that George Clooney's version is part of the bigger DCEU multiverse that connects to, you know, the Arrowverse and the Smallville universe uh, and, you know, DCEU and, you know, the Ezra Miller's Flash universe. It, it makes sense. It doesn't make sense for Christian Bale to appear because there's no hint of Superman or any other DC uh, heroes or DC characters existing in Nolan's universe or un Nolan's uh, version of Batman. There's no hint so far in the Batman, uh, you know, so far in Robert Pattinson's Batman, the Batman universe is just Batman. I didn't hear any mention of Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and the Batman or Robert Pattinson's Batman. Maybe, you know, they'll, they'll do uh you know other dc heroes and the batman universe with robert pattinson's batman but so far i didn't hear anything of it so it makes sense that george clooney's batman would appear at the end of the flash movie because his version of batman is connected to the dceu multiverse christian bale's batman isn't and robert pattinson's batman so far isn't so uh, only his Batman would make sense to return. So I personally prefer or this ending of George Clooney reappearing as Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, from you know the the uh, with uh, the Flash messing up the multiverse and him messing up the multiverse to the to an extent where he ends up in the Schumacher universe instead of the uh, instead of the regular DCEU universe with. Uh, uh, ben Affleck's version of Batman, it makes sense because when the Flash traveled back in time, uh, you know, to move those cans of the can of tomatoes up and then he came back in time, uh, it made it makes sense that the un the multiverse was when he did that, he ended up in the wrong universe or something happened in that timeline where the Schumacher universe, he ended up in the Schumacher universe um, uh, because of his messing up the timelines or him messing up the multiverse. So this this definitely makes sense uh, for George Clooney's version to appear. So I thought, I thought it made sense and I thought it was a really fun cameo. Uh, other people, uh, not so much. But again, I like the Flash movie. I don't know why everyone's ripping on that movie. No, it's not perfect. You know, it's not like, Spider-Man No Way Home perfect, but it was still a good movie. It's still enjoyable. I really like 
watching the flash you know it's one of those movies i can watch over and over and just not get bored with it but other people just you know didn't like the movie for whatever reasons but what do you guys think am i does my theory make sense or do you have your own theory as to why george Clooney's version ended up uh or uh the flash ended up in the schumacher universe if you have some other theories or you have some some other thoughts let me know in the comments below this is just my two cents on the whole uh Ezra Miller's version ending up in the Schumacher universe.